Now, a common mistake that's made when undertaking the AM2S, AM2E or the AM2 itself, okay? And this actually involves when we remove the cover off of a distribution board, we always need to seek permission, okay, to make sure that we can fully isolate the board and work safely. Before taking the cover off, we need to turn all of the overcurrent protection devices off. Next, what we have to do, now this is normally where people go wrong, is at this point they've turned all of these off, then they remove the cover. They actually fail that part of the assessment because they haven't isolated the main switch here. Now, I know what you're thinking, we would need to lock this off. Now, this all depends on the type of distribution board or consumer unit we have. If we put a lock off kit here, we might actually be able to remove the cover. So if you can't lock it off without removing this cover here, what we need to do is make sure this is switched off, all of the overcurrent protection devices are off. We would then remove the cover and we would lock off this main switch here straight away. 